Hi, I'm Susan Blaine. Welcome. I'm here with Michael Curran. I got to be up front. He was my boss for a long time. I don't. Would this boss properly well, describe it? We worked together. We did work together. I don't uh, know if it was in a hierarchical way. Well, I, lear <laughs> I learned a lot from you. Yeah, and, uh, and me from you. Thank you. Uh, president and publisher of Great River Media and the Ottawa Business Journal. And obj.ca is the website for those of you that don't know. Hi, welcome to Sharing with Susan B, telling stories from the heart. We're looking to inspire, telling stories of struggle, vulnerability, and lessons learned. When you were a teenager, you wanted to be a reporter. So here's an example of a guy who wanted to do something and, and his path led him there. Uh, so he was a paper boy. I laugh because there's been so many paper boys in this series, but it really makes sense that you were a paper boy to go on to own a paper. Um, as a kid, you worked at the city of Ottawa Parks, uh, you did pools around, yeah. you ran public camps and activities, you had a summer job for the federal government in Revenue Canada, you didn't like that. Nope. Uh, it's good to know what you don't like. Yes. Uh, you studied journalism and poli-sci at Carleton University. So right after school, you actually got right involved in a community newspaper and a reporter, and yeah. then you became an editor. Yeah. Uh, it was 1988. Yeah. Uh, you co-founded your first business in 1995, which was a community newspaper. Mm -hmm. uh, you became the editor for the Ottawa Business Journal in 1999, and that's when we first met. Yes. Did you have your office in the closet? Uh, uh, well, many people did. With the the, <laughs> the building was overcrowded. I think I eventually made my way to the corner office, which sounds way better than it is. Than the closet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you became editor-in-chief of In Business Media Network, which was uh, the owner at the time of yeah. the Ottawa Business Journal. Uh, and you became regional manager with Transcontinental, who had bought the Ottawa Business Journal in 2005. And then in 2010, you became a co-owner mm -hmm. and president of Great River Media of the Ottawa Business Journal. So let's talk a little bit about Mike's community work, because it's quite significant. You've been on the outs. Arts Council board. Mm. Uh, you've coached soccer for 16 years. I know your family's big soccer. Yeah, your yeah. daughter's the real star. Yeah. Through the newspaper, you've really supported a lot of the community, uh, a lot of charities. I know with my work with the paper, I was involved with a lot of charities and and uh, you, know, you don't realize how much support that you do give them um, in helping them promote their events, helping them sell tickets, raise money. Uh, the Royal, you made a $100,000 pledge as a corporation, which was huge back when it wasn't cool to support them. True. Almost a decade and you helped ago. with that pledge. <laughs> Ottawa, I need to give you some credit there. Well, thank you. Ottawa Hospital Regional Cancer F Foundation, you've done a lot of work with. So what are you really passionate about these days? Wow, that's a big question. It is. Uh, I mean, I'm still passionate about uh, local media. You know, we've uh, lost as a city a lot of our local media. Uh, a lot of it's died away, and I kind of found my start in local media. So yeah. I'm passionate about OBJ continuing to provide what I think is a really significant service, which is oh, yeah. allowing people to understand what's happening in our business community, both for informational reasons, for partnership reasons, for economic development, for a sense of overall momentum and prosperity. So I guess I'm passionate about that from a professional point of view. That would be one of the things at least. You know, you've been an entrepreneur for a number of years and talk about the change, that the transition that's happened yeah. in the media has been huge. Um, so what's been the biggest struggle uh, in business for you? Uh, well, it's, it's interesting. As you indicated, I went to journalism school and I wanted to be a reporter, initially a political reporter on Parliament Hill, but then I found a passion for business and entrepreneurship. Um, but my, my education was in journalism mm -hmm. and, con and creating content. It wasn't in running a business. So yeah. certainly, I think my motivation at OBJ and other media properties have been associated with at some point was my passion is creating the content, but I'm going to try to get good at running a business to create the funds to create the content. Yeah. So it's a, it's a little bit of a roundabout way, I think, of me trying to uh, do something I'm passionate about and support it uh, through a business model that continues to be uh, under duress, I guess we could say. But, well, uh, media. I mean, you mentioned yeah. it earlier. There's been, uh, there at one time, there was... Th 30 media outlets in the city, and yeah. now there's five. Yeah, yeah. Well, local media has really died. Yeah. Uh, a part of it was with a, a giant community newspaper uh, network closing. But, uh, you know, I, I think one of the things we've done well, I uh, want to keep it really modest here, but um, OBJ has really evolved well. So we've, yes, we've kind of really 
embrace digital cha channels. And I, I guess that started even before I arrived. But we've tried to s keep pace with how technology is changing content and, and audiences. And that's been key, and it's been the death of some. It, yeah, it, abs it absolutely hit. Yeah. So, I mean, on both sides. Some, some people failed to embrace it completely. Some people embraced it too much and, and dropped traditional media components. And I guess, you know, OBJ maintains a, a monthly uh, printed publication still really important to us. Events, as you know, because yeah. uh, you helped run that division, has been really important to us. What about some lessons? What's some lessons that have come from some Business these? lessons? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa, there'd be, there'd be a lot. I think when you and I worked together, we always focused a lot on human resources. Yeah, so, people. Uh, yeah, I think that, that I continue to understand that what makes a successful business is successful people. Indeed. And that if you can place, um, uh, you can place your emphasis on bringing the best people on the team. I carry revenue generation responsibilities today, but I think if you approach that in a very genuine way, and try to put yourselves into the shoes of another person, yeah. uh, a prospective client in this case, and say, can I genuinely help this person? And if so, let's try to find a way to do so. Yeah. So those would be two good lessons on maybe people and you know, your attitude around business generation. Yeah, let's talk about personal struggle. Well, you know, that's a, uh, that's a really obvious question and a terrible question. And uh, whenever it comes up, all I had to take a little bit of a deep breath. For sure. Um, so I lost my oldest son uh, about six years ago uh, in a homicide. So that's been um, very difficult. Uh, obviously, he uh, he died unexpectedly at someone else's hands, and that's been a uh, massive challenge for me personally, but obviously for uh, my family as well. Yeah, so. you know, it's it's something that has an impact on us. Uh, you know, an impact on everybody. Sure. Uh, you know, um, you said something important there, which is, you know, one of the things that if you experience a tragedy of that nature, you need to understand that you, it's not something you recover from. It's just no. something that you need to incorporate in your life. And uh, sometimes you can use the motivation uh, of uh, someone that's deceased to say, you know, they would want uh, parents in this case, me, to continue and, and to lead a life. And to be a life that they're proud of in that, so. Yeah, and he helped give life to others. Sure, yeah, he, he uh, there's a terrific story. People can typically, uh, can probably find it online, but um, uh, there was a big organ donation uh, element to the story where uh, he passed away in Edmonton, and I was uh, there by his um, bedside as his uh, organs were yeah. uh, placed or or yeah. found some found some uh, some deserving recipients. Yeah, yeah. which uh, yeah. which I, which really did help. Uh, I mean, it doesn't make the situation no. better at all. But uh, you know, I, I do think in uh, having experienced it, um, you know, in times of of, of real uh, genuine crisis, we're all eager, or at least um, I was eager to find something. You know, yeah. that was a little bit of a bright spark. So. Certainly for me, the organ donation has been very personal, and, and it, it is a miraculous thing to, con to consider that, uh, you know, my, my son's heart continues to beat in another person. Wow. And I know you've done some talk with uh, Sam, yeah. Sam on our show, yeah. and, it, you know, just helping to raise awareness uh, about yeah. that is really an important thing. Um, let's talk about uh, what advice you might give to someone starting off and maybe as a reporter or yeah. in the newspaper, <laughs> in the media business, or advice that you might give your younger self from some of the lessons that you've learned generally? Oh, wow. I, I really struggle with when people ask me this question. If, let, let's go with the one if someone was starting off uh, in reporting business. I would say um, don't get too wrapped up maybe in the technology. I think mm. uh, kids these days probably gravitate to social media platforms. Uh, or, or blog sites or, or video as, as we're doing here today. And I think there's absolutely no, nothing wrong with that, but realize there's uh, other types of relationships in, in this case, as I indicated a few minutes ago, events, you know, coming yeah. to face to face with our OBJ readers has been really important oh, to us. Oh, that's huge. Um, people are really looking for that now, yeah, right? Yeah. So I guess don't get too, technology is, is the conduit through which you communicate, but don't, don't forget about people and don't forget about other maybe more traditional sources of media too. For sure. Oh, that's good advice. Um, so what's next for you? Um, I, don't, I don't think I'm looking for any sort of uh, giant change. I think these days 
Um, uh, I, I recently joined a group called Tech Canada, so oh, I'm trying to be a better uh, business owner. Yeah. Uh, trying to be a better business operator, so I think that's a lot of my focus uh, these days. Uh, There's always more to learn, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's a great uh, that's great advice too. Is con continue to learn, yeah. continue to take. To know that there's there's more. Yeah, uh, and, and look at those. Be a student. Yeah, be a student. I agree. Hundred. I I do really try to keep that um, uh, that mindset. And I would say um, there's always more to learn, even about the fundamentals, right? Yeah. So often you can think that you've you've dealt with stuff, and then you really take a harder look at it and say, "Wow, is the business really organized fundamentally in the way it should be?" Both from a people point of view and a finance and a uh, you know and a roles and responsibilities. So. Yeah, I think it's... Um, Tech's a great group, the executive yeah. company, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's... yeah. Often known as Tech Canada these yeah. days, and they got a U.S. equivalent too, but it, it is a great group of uh, business owners that come together on a regular basis. Very personal relationships forged. Yeah, they uh, talk too, about so... struggle and different yeah, yeah, things too, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah, they do, absolutely. They do, yeah. Uh, how about some rapid-fire questions? Some fun facts about sure. Michael Curran we're going to learn. Sure. Uh, who's your favorite superhero? So I have a literal answer and then metaphorical okay. answer, if I can put it that way. I, and I was a superhero kind of geek growing up, so I always liked uh, Batman and uh, and uh, Captain America. Captain America. And that was way before it was popular to like those two people, so I take some credit to that. But I, but honestly, I think, and, and maybe it just goes through the, the loss of my son, but I really admire these days people that work in healthcare and, and police officers, and I just think first responders. sometimes first responders, um, I have two sons in the military, so maybe I'd, I'd lump them in there. So I, I just think, Sometimes it's easy to forget that there are people that keep society functioning. Everyday people right yeah. here. Yeah, like 24-7. Yeah. Never. Yeah. <laughs> never. It never stops. I right? love that. Yeah. Uh, someone you admire. Uh, I, again, it might harken back to my personal experience, but I, I'd say my wife and children, I really kind of admire them for, for how they've come through some of our struggles. And mm -hmm. uh, Yeah. Yeah. Really inspiring. Something not too many people know about you. Can I give them something? He used to be in a band in yeah, high school. Yeah, but it was such a bad band. <laughs> like, I don't even know if it... It is true. And we had... Anyway. We had the, the worst name. I'm, like, I'm embarrassed to say it. It was called the International Noise. It's just, it was terrible. Well, that's something that most yeah. people wouldn't know about you. Yeah. Um, how about a favorite movie, book, or quote? Uh, oh, yeah. I put some thought into this one. Uh, you know what I like is Roberto Benigni, Life is Beautiful, mm. uh, is a fantastic movie, uh, both a comedy and a little bit of a drama. Uh, what's something that always makes you smile? Uh, for sure, the success of my kids. So uh, whether it's, you know, academically or sports-wise, they're all uh, big, big achievers in, in many, so just... Yeah, there's nothing makes, that makes me happier than seeing no, my, when they're, my when they're children happy succeed. Yeah, and thriving. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's your definition of success, Mike, in one sentence? Uh, so, it, like, it sounds corny, but I was thinking about this one, and it's to live, uh, to have a life well lived. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah, it's just to take full advantage of our, our, our time here. A Michael Curran. Uh, Ottawa Business That was Journal. quick. Yeah. <laughs> OBJ.ca is the website. Check it out. He's on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. Thank you so much. Okay. For being in Thanks, Susan. <laughs>